You know, it's been a while since we've had a chat, but I've actually had three chats with you. The first time I didn't press record. The second time I pressed record, talked to 15 minutes, and it didn't fucking save anything. It just came up with a, a line through the video. So now the timer's going, the button's pressed, this should, this should hopefully work. And you're probably wondering what the fuck we're going to talk about. Well, it's been ages since we've actually had a conversation about what's going on in my world and the book world. Um, now, prices have been going up recently for manufacturing costs. So paperbacks are more expensive. Post is more expensive. Etsy prices. Are shit. Um, and I've been looking at ways to, to combat that. And I've come up with a plan and I've got it fixed. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, what we're going to talk about is conventions. Edinburgh, I'm coming for you. This isn't a convention. I'm going up there to meet uh, an actor on October the 8th. So on October the 7th, I'm going to be there in Edinburgh and I'm going to meet you. So if you are in Edinburgh or can get to Edinburgh, I'm staying at the Marriott Hotel. Do let me know. We will meet up and we'll have a laugh and a drink. I say a drink, I'll have a Sprite because I don't like alcohol. Um, so yeah, let me know. America, you're not going to like this. I'm scaling you back. Uh, I love you. I can't afford you. Um, as some of you know, I did a campaign last year for a, a book called Meet, where if you buy it, you actually get to meet me and hang out in New York or Ohio. I'm coming out there in September. And uh, the campaign basically paid for my flight to get out there. I still need to find another $2,000 to pay for my hotels and my internal flights and obviously get some food and drink while I'm out there. I can't afford it. I'll figure it out. I've got a credit card that I'll probably have to max out for it. So I'm coming. Don't worry. But we're not going to be doing this again because I cannot afford to lose this kind of money. Um, it was an experiment. It failed. I need to be a bigger author. Um, so yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, I do get a lot of people asking me to go to various shows in America. Stop asking me. Ask the people that run the event. Just say, we really want Matt Shaw here. Get a group of you to say it. And then chances are the event may listen and go, and they may reach out to me. You telling me means nothing. Because I get in touch with them and I go, excuse me, can I come out to you? No. You, can I, I just got to ask whether I could. No. No, I just want. No. It's not going to happen. So don't ask me to come to your events. Also, it really annoys me. When I'm asked to go somewhere and I show up and you don't fucking show up to see me anyway. I'm just saying. I'm just, it's happened before. It's happened before. Right, Melissa? Right, Melissa? Yeah? Yeah, when you asked me to come to Seattle, I came to Seattle. You didn't show up. Now, don't worry. I'm just joking around because Melissa came out this year, so she did see me. So that's fine. She made amends. But, you know, it's been before. Yeah, Matt, you should come to Seattle. All right, I will. Hey, Seattle, here I am. Oh, there's no one here. I'll go to the theatre and watch a film. Hey, that was worth a flight. So, yeah, I, I'm going to scale America back. Um, there's only two shows I want to do in America. One is more of a, a family get-together because uh, it's run by Rath James White, KillerCon in Texas. He purposely keeps tickets low. He doesn't sell many tickets. And it's always the same people that keep coming to the event. So when you go there, it's like a big family get together and it's a laugh. It's not so big that it feels overwhelming and you're uncomfortable and socially awkward. It's nice. Um, but it's an event where it's very hard to make your money back if you're traveling from the UK. So I've got to be having a good year before I visit that one again. Uh, which is a shame because I'd go every fucking year just to hang out with Rath because he's a cool dude. Um... The other one uh, that I was doing was obviously Crypticon in Seattle. Now, I'm trying to be a regular there, and I have offered them an exclusive book every year. Uh, now, that book will not be available on Etsy, Kindle, paperback, hardback. The only way you will get that book is if you go to Crypticon. I'm still waiting on the official go-ahead for that before I start writing it. Um, but I was talking to the event runner, uh, the the owner, when I was out there, and he seemed, he like he seemed to like the idea, so hopefully he did, and hopefully it'll it'll go ahead. 
Um, and, you know, hopefully you guys will then come to Seattle and hang out. And if you can't get to Seattle, hopefully you'll be able to talk to someone that can, who can then come to the convention and pick that exclusive book up. Because, again, it's only going to be available at that convention. If I've got stock left over, I won't be selling it anywhere. I will simply take it back the following year and the following year and until I have sold out. That's how it's going to work. Um, if that falls through, I might look at another event out there. Um, I am supposed to be at AuthorCon next year in wherever the fuck. I won't be doing that one regularly. Uh, I need to work my ass off to get out there next year because I looked at the flights and because of the cost of petrol and fuel, gas, whatever you want to call it, the flight is fucking scary. It's like £2,000. And the chances of getting £2,000 back from a convention and paying for the hotel and obviously the taxi there and everything, it's fucking hard work. You know, it's all right for, for authors that live there. They just go, pay a bit of petrol money to get there, get your table some of them live so close that they just go home each day they're fucking raking it in but if you're traveling from far it is it's really hard work um anyway cost of books and things has gone up now the way we're going to beat this that is my normal book my new books moving forward are going to be that so these are going to be thicker than these obviously but the nice thing is the costs the costs come down not massively but enough for you guys to save some money and me to still get the same sort of profit which i'll be honest isn't a lot but i don't care i want you to be reading the books the cost of the post however is where we're gonna be laughing that's 11 pounds that's four pounds to post 11 4 11 4 same with the hardback four pound fifty it's a no fucking brainer. A hardback to America at the moment is £20. So this should bring the Etsy prices down again and make it more realistic for people all around the world to buy the books from me. Please. So I hope you like these books anyway. Um, he says as he puts it back down again. I really like them. Uh, mainly because they actually fit in the back pocket of my jeans. They fit in the inside pocket of my coat. So if I've got public transport, if I'm doing a journey, I can literally just chuck a book in my coat, whip it out. Oh, yeah, it's a really good book. Boop, bosh. There you go. Hello. You know, with this book, what the fuck are you going to do with that? It won't fit there. Roll it up into a ball maybe and stick it in my... No, fuck off. Um, so I am going to be re-releasing quite a few of my more popular books in this smaller size because... By doing that, it's just easier to take to conventions as well, you know. Uh, I can fit them in my backpack if I'm travelling on a plane, so I don't need a suitcase. I can fit them in a suitcase if I want to take shitloads of them. I took 60 to Crypticon in a suitcase, pocketbooks, sold out of them, made my money for, for, for being there. You know, so it makes more sense for me to be doing this than big-ass books that cost a fucking fortune to ship or to post individually. Um... Also, I think the little books look cuter. It doesn't mean that there's going to be no more hardbacks on Amazon, but you will be able to get them from Etsy. For some reason, you can't do hardbacks of these on Amazon. They don't put it in the distribution program. Um, now, don't worry, you're still getting the same size book, by the way, as in content-wise. So that's all fine and dandy. You're not missing out on anything. It's just going to be in a more condensed form, which will actually save you uh, some shelf space. Yes, yeah, so you can fit more of them on your shelf and they'll look really cute and your friends will be like, that book looks fucking cute. And you'll be like, yeah, it's a Matt Shaw book. Matt Shaw, yeah, fucking great he is. Oh, I know. I know he is. I've got his poster on my wall. I don't blame you. I flicked my bean to him. What? Yeah, I have baked beans for breakfast and I flick them around the plate while I think of him. That's weird, that is. Yeah, but it's fine because it's Matt Shaw and he's weird. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He is, yeah. I mean, sometimes his videos where he just talks to himself, but he's like two different characters. Does he? Does he not get that bit fucked up sometimes? 
No, it's like he's schizophrenic. He just has this conversation like this person and then this conversation like this person. And sometimes he throws in another person just to really fuck with the audience. Is that clever or is it insane? Honestly, I don't really know anymore. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Me neither. Shall we move on? It's probably for the best, isn't it? Who wants pigeon for dinner? Pigeon? What the fuck are you talking about? Ooh, ooh, I'm a pigeon. I don't know anymore, people. I don't know. Everything's gone a little bit weird. Um, anyway, these are going to be re-released. So I, my more popular books, so if there's a book you'd like to see in this size, do let me know. Uh, they are going to be obviously thicker because uh, it takes more of a page count. For example, um, The Things He Heard, the book I'm writing at the moment, currently is at 110 pages uh, in this particular format. So by the time it's done, it'll probably be closer to 200 pages. But again, in the bigger book format, it looks tiny. It looks like it's 110, 120 pages. So this will just feel better as well. Ooh, we like it big, don't we? Said the man with the small penis. Do you have a small penis? I do, actually. It's rather embarrassing. I was hoping to raise enough money from making books, right, that I could uh, get an operation. An operation? What? You're going to get a penis enlargement? No, I was just going to have a sex change and make it a vagina. Because, you know, it's that small, it might as well just be fucking folded inside out. It would definitely be cheaper to go that way than get a penis extent. That's pretty smart, actually. I thought it was as well. I'll be honest with you. I thought it was. I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know what's going on anymore. That's why I've got grey hair in my fucking beard. Because everything's just weird now. Um, so anyway, I'm coming out to Seattle. Uh, fucking Seattle. I'm done Seattle. I'm coming out to New York and Ohio. I'm meeting Aaron in New York. Uh, we're going to be co-signing Survivor's Guilt. Those of you that pre-ordered it, you'll be able to pick your copy up from us or he's going to be posting them out direct. Um, and I will also have a book that no one has heard of, no one has read, no one has seen, but it's going to be in this, obviously, format. And I'm going to have those with me that you can buy as well. Why? Because I need to try and make some money back for this fucking trip. £2,000 I've got to lose on this just so I can see you little people. That's how much you mean to me because I'm that grateful that you support my work. I am going to throw this money away so I can come and support you and just meet you, have a laugh and I don't know. I don't know. I was going to say get pissed but I don't like drinking so that's not going to happen. Let's do cocaine. Yeah, no, let's not. Look at my fucking nose. I'd be like a hoover. It's not good. Um... I don't know what we're going to do in New York and all that, like, anyway. But I will have an exclusive book with me, which no one knows about yet. Uh, and it will be available on Etsy and blah, 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 for the people that do miss it or can't buy it off me when I'm actually at the event. Not that it's an event. I ain't got a fucking clue what we're going to do yet. Uh, one lady, in, uh, she said that uh, she's meeting me in New York, and she's like, well, I'm already going to be a little bit out of it because I don't drink. And I'm like, me neither, love. I only drink if I'm very fucking comfortable with the people I'm with. Um, or if I'm super uncomfortable and then I'll just get drunk just to survive. Nah, I normally run away, to be honest with you. I don't... Yeah, drinking isn't really for me. So if you're expecting to come out there and get pissed, forget it. We ain't doing it. Well, you can, but if you get too drunk, I will find a way of ditching you because I don't tolerate drunk people. They, they do my nutting. Yeah? Um... Anyway, that's that. That's us talking. So there's ways of saving money. The books are going to be redone like this. I have to scale back America because it's too fucking much for me to travel there all the time now. Edinburgh, I'm coming for you October the 7th. Do let me know. Oh, fuck. Nearly forgot. I am also pushing audiobooks now. <clears throat> I will be narrating them. Oh, my God. You're going to be narrating audiobooks? I am going to be narrating audiobooks. That is fucking brilliant. It's a bit amateur dramatics, but it works. Well, does it work? Would it be not be better to pay someone? I can't afford to pay someone, so we have to go the amateur dramatics route. And hopefully people will buy it just because it's my voice and I've got a sexy accent. How do you know you've got a sexy accent? Because they fucking tell me every time I go to America, I like your accent. Are you Australian? You fucking what? What is it with you Americans? Do I sound fucking Australian, mate? No. I'm English. I'm fucking English, you cat. So, yes, if I come to America and you call me Australian one more time, I'm going to cut you motherfuckers. I'm not. I love you. Um, where the fuck was any of that? Oh, yeah, I'm doing audiobooks. 
So the Holy Fucking Bible got released today. Got released today. And Roe versus Wade is coming out in a couple of days. And tomorrow I'm in my cabin out back narrating polyembo loco illomania. Yeah, say that five times fast. No, you're right. Why not? Because I probably can't. <clears throat> uh, yes, I'm going to be doing audio books. And I'm going to be putting on Etsy with personalised greetings as well. Cheaper than what they are on Amazon and Audible. So if you'd like to hear my voice narrate my work for you, but with a personalised greeting. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Emily. Hello, Jill. Hey, Mary. Oh, Melissa, it's me, the Matt Shaw. I'm here to narrate your audio book, you slag. If you want that kind of thing, it's going to be on my fucking Etsy page. Yeah. If there's any books out there that you want me to narrate, obviously mine, I'm not going to narrate, you know, Aaron's. He can fuck himself. That cunt can fuck himself. Yeah. If you want me to narrate an audio book of mine, do let me know what it is and I'll have a look at it. Also, Aaron, don't fuck yourself. I love you, man. Also, I don't think your penis will reach. Just from what I've heard, it's, it's, it's Roland told me. Yeah, that's it. Roland told me. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to be doing audio books. If there's a book of mine that you want to hear me narrate, do let me know and I'll make it a priority. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So there's a lot to digest there and I really hope this fucking video worked this time because if not, I'm not going to do it again. Not going to fucking do it again, you slags. Um, other than that, thank you. In all seriousness, thank you for supporting my, my work. Um, yeah, I've been doing this full time now for a number of years and it's because of people like you supporting me. So I, I really am grateful um, for everything you do to me. Do to me. <gasps> the secret's out. Um, oh, God, here we go. The gossip train's off again. Um, I'm grateful for everything that you do for me. Um, so, you know, I may come across glib, flippant, bit of a twat, rude, definitely a cunt. But I am incredibly grateful for everything that you do to, to keep me right in and keep me in business. So thank you um, from the bottom of my black heart. Don't be stupid, cunt. You ain't got a heart. Oh, yeah. I sold it on eBay. Fuck. I'm done. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and good night.